Hello and welcome to part 4 of Black Soul. Alright guys, welcome back. It's been a while, I apologise, but here we are, we're back. So, in the last episode, um, I unlocked this door, didn't I? And I think it's time that we explore what's actually behind it. So here we go. Ah, loading screens, don't you just love them? Look at that, magic. Magic, everybody. Look at me and my crowbar. I am badass. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? We got uh, bullets and a small medical kit. That is just what I like. Whoa, what's that? A wooden knob! <laughs> a wooden knob, everybody. That's great. We need three more wooden knobs. Oh, it feels awkward saying the word knob. Wow, okay. Antidote and uh, some more bullets. I really do hope that we're going to find a gun at some point. That would be pretty amazing, I have to say. Um, wow, we found a lot of stuff in here. I'm pretty sure that's it now, though. I don't think there's anything else in here. Okay, moving on. Moving swiftly on, everybody. Right, okay, the power of clicking your fingers. You can skip any cutscene or loading screen, just like that. And um, this door was locked, wasn't it? I can't open it, something is stuck in the lock. Okay, so what did I actually have on my inventory? I've now got a wooden knob. Never thought I'd say that. But <laughs> there we go, we have a wooden knob in our inventory, basically. Um, a wire. And I actually have a good idea here. I think we can use the wire on the door. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Whoa, what is that? A broken key. Alright. What now? It's locked. Of course it's locked. Okay. I very highly doubt this is going to work. A blank key. It wouldn't work, would it? No, you can't use this object here. Okay. Well, this trap door, we should be able to insert one of the knobs now, I believe. Don't see why not. Yeah, so there we go. That's got one. We just need three more. Um, so this could be fun. This could be a lot of fun. So we need to find three more. Okay, so... If I remember correctly, there was a zombie up here, but I did take care of him. I'm trying to remember whether it was this door or the other door, because there's two doors, isn't there? There's uh, that one and that one. Which one was it? <sighs> this is a problem when you don't play a game for a while, you start to forget where things are. Maybe it was this one, if not... Shit. <laughs> Basically. Um, oh, this is quite a quick loading screen, I won't bother here. Uh, was I correct? Oh my god, I wasn't correct, but, however, this freaking puzzle is still here and I'm going to have to do it at some point. I've been beating around the bush, haven't I? This freaking puzzle, look at this. This is an absolute nightmare. Freaking planet puzzle. Yep, I'm looking forward to doing this. In fact, actually, while I'm in here, I might as well just get it over and done with. What is this? Uh, Furanus, but yeah, we got this before, haven't we? So, this is uh, to help us with that puzzle. Right. Okay, I might end up writing that down and then trying to solve the puzzle. Okay. I'm probably going to do that now and cut the process of me trying to figure this puzzle out so that I don't keep you guys waiting here for too long. So here we go. 72 hours later. Oh my god, we did it, finally. A secret door. There is something inside. It's another wooden knob. Fantastic. 
That is brilliant. Okay, so I don't actually think we need to come in here anymore. I don't think there's anything else actually here, so, um... I think we're good. I think we're good to move on now. <sighs> oh my god. If you like puzzles, this game might actually be up your street. Because there are some pretty difficult puzzles in this game, not gonna lie. Okay, um, also helps if you like zombies. Just saying. Right, so we actually wanted to go in this room here. Because uh, I need to look in the rooms again and re-remember what was actually in them. Because I might, have actually, I might have actually missed something. You never know. Oh my god, okay. Well, at least that puzzle's done now. I was dreading that, and I was putting it off for such a long time. Right, did I definitely kill that zombie in here? I better have done. Yeah, I did. Good. I didn't know because the creepy music started playing again. Right, so first of all, let's check these drawers. I didn't actually want to check the picture, but that was um, that was kind of fortunate in my favour, wasn't it? Okay, do you want to take the picture off the wall? Yes, okay, fine. Hmm. <laughs> okay, lovely, brilliant. Well, I haven't got a freaking clue how to solve that. That's another puzzle. I've literally just done a puzzle. I've literally just done one! And you're throwing more puzzles at me? What the fuck? Seriously, man. Okay. Beautiful picture up there. What is this? Oh, okay. This is a piece of paper which looks like it's going to be beneficial to the safe puzzle. So, um... I'm probably going to have to write that down and go over to the safe and then try and crack that one open as well. Oh my god, I've literally just done a puzzle. Okay, right, there was the second door here, wasn't there? Which, if I remember correctly, this was just like a little, uh... This was a little tiny room, it didn't really have anything in it, if I remember correctly. But, it's worth checking, because I've been in that room before, and I found a picture that can come off the wall, so... It's very possible that you can forget things. So, what's actually in here, first of all? Nothing useful. <laughs> Nothing... A key copy machine. A key copy machine. Are you serious? A key copy machine, okay. A key copy machine. I have a broken key. <laughs> oh my god. That is amazing. Alright, what about... A blank key. So I'm, I'm assuming I can make a key, right? Please tell me I can. Yes? No? Yes? Did I? No? Crap. Alright. Do you want to use the key copy machine? Okay, yes. There we go. I actually had to click on it. Oh, brilliant. Okay, so... Then we've made a new key. I've got the key, which is to the door where that broken key was. So I should be able to open up another door now. Oh my god. You see what happens when you don't check things properly? Some pretty creepy pictures in here, might I just add. Some pretty creepy pictures. Just saying. Okay, so... That's one puzzle down. Oh god, I might as well solve that safe puzzle now. Fine. Right. Ah, oh, god, okay, here we go. I'm gonna have to write this down as well, aren't I? So, 2,000 years later. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> Oh my god, this game is really testing my mental abilities, guys. There is something inside. Let me guess, it's another wooden knob. We now have three wooden knobs. So, we need one more wooden knob. And then we can open up the trap door. I'm assuming, anyway. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. 
Oh god, right. So, let's go down the stairs and witness another loading screen, but I'm just going to skip the loading Okay, wow, look how awesome that was. Right, um... Let's give this a shot, shall we? A common key. It's unlocked. Oh my god, this is good. I've done quite a lot in this episode, I'm quite happy. We're making quite a bit of progress. Okay, oh my god. Okay, right, so this is what was behind that door. Oh crap, this is horrible. What is that? A uh, small medical kit. <laughs> Don't know what that noise was. Okay, wow. Um, yeah, forget that. See ya. <laughs> right. Um, I know what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen. This is this is even more like Resident Evil. There's a zombie in that bath. There is. The bath is way too dark. It's way too quiet in here, and I know exactly what's going to happen. I know exactly what's going to happen, so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to save the game. Because if you don't save the game, you have to do everything again. That is game logic in general, so um, let's, uh, let's have a look, shall we? Do you want to empty out the bath tube? Bath tub, my friend. Okay, yes. I shouldn't really, but I'm gonna have to. And there's gonna be a freaking zombie, I just know it. It's in there! Yes, there is. Okay, brilliant. You almost half not expect it. Okay, come and get it. Come and get it. Serving up a crowbar amount of whoop ass. There we go. <laughs> Okay, right, there must have been something in that bathtub. Yes, there is. It's the fourth and final wooden knob. How many times have I said the word knob during this episode? Seriously. How many times have I said the word knob? <laughs> right, okay. Um, we now have everything that we need. For this trap door. Am I right? I'm pretty right. I know I'm right. So this is the third one, which means that we can now use the last one. Here we go. Nothing happened. Okay, that's a bit concerning. Why? I can't believe this, guys. It's another puzzle. It's another freaking puzzle, seriously. I've done, what, like two or three puzzles already to get to where I am now. And there's like one final puzzle, I think, that we need to solve to enter this trapdoor here. So, um, I really have no idea how I'm going to solve this. So I might leave this till the next um, episode. So, hopefully you guys are enjoying Black Soul and you'll join me for part 5. So, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. My name is Jimmy Chu. Today, I will ask you three simple questions. Okay. If you can answer all three correctly, then you are not dumb. If not, Makes sense. you are dumb. Okay. You will be allowed five seconds to answer each question. Wow. Five seconds, is that it? Question number one. Okay, jump straight into How this. How many syllables are in the word Mississippi? Are you Missis dumb? Are you dumb? Four. Are you dumb? Correct. Alright. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? Are you dumb? <laughs>